beautifully we can solve the questions using the concept first let us understand the concept sir now see here suppose for example i will take a small easy example initially i have a number 13579 right i have a number 13579 now what is the average of this series average as i already told you in my previous classes average is nothing but sum of the quantities by number of quantities or if the given series is in arithmetic progression average is nothing but the, the middle value right average is nothing but the middle value average is 5 right average for the series is 5 can i easily say that my lowest term in the series is 1 my highest term in the series is 9 my average is 5 can i say that average always lies between lowest and highest values lowest and highest values in any given series right lowest and highest values in any given series this is a very very important key point right the average always lies between lowest and highest values in any given series now this is one of the point that i want to tell you before i start solving the actual question the another point what i actually want to tell you is now see here sir i will take an example for you to understand it better suppose for example assume that there are two sections section a section b suppose there are 10 students in this first section right there are 10 students in this first section assume that again 10 students in the second section 10 students are there in section a and students are there in section b the average marks of section a is assume that let us take it as 30 marks section b average marks is it is 40 marks right section b average marks is 40 marks now i need to find the average marks of both the sections right average marks of both the sections usually how is that we will be doing so 30 marks is the average marks of section a and there are 10 students so it is 30 into 10 Plus 40 into 10 students in section B divided by total number of quantities. Numerator is sum of the quantity divided by total number of quantities is 10 plus 10 20. If I simplify, 300 plus 400 is 700 by 20. 700 by 20 is 35. Average marks of two sections is nothing but how much? 25. In simple language. This is a very are there in both the sections, or in other words, the ratio of section A and section B number of students. The ratio is equal. It is of equal ratio. Whenever it is of equal ratio, average is nothing but the average of the given marks. So 30 plus 40. So what is the average of 30 and 40? 30 plus 40 by 2. The middle value is 35. That is what I got here also. one more example if you are not that clear with the first example before i move on to the next problem suppose for example section a they are getting 44 marks as average marks and there are assume that there are 37 students section b also there are 37 students assume that 46 marks is the average marks so instead of doing all these things and wasting our time the number of students is in the ratio 1 is to 1 they are same in both the classes the number of ratio is of equal ratio i can directly say it as 44 plus 46 by 2 90 by 2 is 45 or in other words the middle value of 44 and 46 is 45 right what if they are not equal ratio that we have already discussed in our averages class i am just taking these two key points before i move on to the original question i believe that these two are very very clear for you right sir okay sir. college m has boys and girls in the ratio 3 is to 7 and college n has boys and girls in the ratio 1 is to 3 let us write statement by statement for our better understanding boy and girl in college m they are in the ratio 3 is to 7 in college n they are in, they are in the ratio 1 is to 3 that is what is given in the first statement if the number of students in college m is at least 3 times as many as the number of students in college n number of students in college m is at least very very important key point in this question is at least number of students in college m is at least 3 times as many as the number of students in college n find the minimum percentage of boys when both colleges are considered together we need to find the minimum percentage of boys now first of all what is the meaning of at least 3 times 
at least three times means. Suppose for example, if college N is having 100 students, then college N should have minimum three times of 100. Minimum number of students in college M should be 300. It can be more than 300 also, but it should net definitely not be less than 300. Suppose for example, if college N is having 30 students, college M will have minimum three times of 30 minimum 90 students should be there in college m that is the meaning of it i believe that the idea of at least three times is very clear for you people now what is that again they are asking find the minimum percentage of boys when both colleges are considered together now i need to find the percentage of boys boys percentage i need to find and that to minimum that we will see it at the end now think logically sir can i say that boys percentage totally three boys are there seven girls are there in college m totally 10 students are there out of total 10 students three students belong to boys so percentage of boys in college m is 30 percent out of three plus one four students one student belongs to boys percentage of boys in college n is 25 percentage that means can i say that boys percentage is in the range of 25 percentage to 30 percentage that means if i draw a diagram like this for example 25 percentage is the boys percentage in college m 30 percentage is the boys percentage in college m can i also say that find the minimum percentage of boys they are asking can i also say that 25 percentage and 30 percentage when both colleges are combined together, I told you at the starting of this problem, average will definitely lie between lowest and highest. Lowest is 22%, highest is 30%, average will be somewhere in between 25 and 30. It is not equal to 25 also, it will not be equal to 30 also. It will be in between 25 and 30. It is not less than 25 or it is not greater than 30 or it is not equal to 25 not equal to 30 also that means in that case can i think little logically and say that 25 percentage answer option is incorrect it cannot be the answer 22.22 cannot be the answer because it is less than 25 it cannot be exactly equal to 30 percentage ruled out so either my answer should be 28.75 or my answer should be 27.5 right or my answer should be 27.5 now again let us continue further sir now can i say that okay if i rewrite this diagram boys and girls is in the ratio 3 is to 7 in college m and it is in the college n it is 1 is to 3 now it is also given that if the number of students in college m is at least three times as many as number of students in college n that means college m if college n is having one student college m should be at least three times or it can be more than three times also that means the ratio of number of students in college m and n is somewhere in the ratio of three is to one minimum or more than 3 is to 1 minimum. That is what you should understand from that statement. It can be 3, but it can be greater than 3 also. Right? That is what they are saying. Now, can I again say like this, sir? Sometime before I just said you the statement. This is 25 percentage. This is 30 percentage. Average lies between 25 and 30. This is for college N. This is for college M. So, it is given that college n ratio is 1 college m ratio is 3 minimum or it can be more than 3 i also told you that if it is 1 is to 1 ratio for example if it is 1 is to 1 ratio average will be exactly in between 25 and 30 in between 25 and 30 means it is 27.5 percentage but it is not 1 is to 1 it is 1 is to 3 minimum it is minimum 1 is to 3 that means answer should be greater than 25.5 percentage that means option e also is ruled out therefore the correct answer for this question is 28.75 percentage i believe the idea is very very clear for you people therefore the correct answer is 28.75 percentage but a smart student sitting in this class he or she might get a doubt asking that 
answer 27.5 percentage cannot be the answer because the ratio is not 1 is to 1 it is minimum 1 is to 3 so it is not the middle value of 25 and 30 i agree for it it is not 27.5 you eliminated so it is 28.75 but i will keep another option sir a smart student will get this doubt i will keep another option 29.3 now answer can be 28.75 or another valid answer is 29.3. How to identify which is the correct answer? This is a smart student's doubt. How to identify which is the correct answer? Now let us find the actual thing what need to be found out to get the exact answer. Actually for this question with the given answer options, you need not continue further for this problem. If you are smart, you will eliminate four answer options. But if there are two more options which are satisfying like in this case, how to get the correct answer? Now again think logically sir, what is the question they are asking? Find the minimum percentage of boys. They want you to find the minimum percentage of boys. If the percentage of boys has to be minimum, you should also take a minimum value in this ratio. That means the ratio is 1 is to 3. It can be greater than 3 also, but I will not consider greater than 3 because I want to find a minimum percentage of boys. I will keep the minimum value 3 itself. That means I will take the ratio as 1 is to 3, right? I will take the ratio as 1 is to 3. If I take the ratio as 1 is to 3 and find the average, so it is 25 times of 1, it is 25 times of 1 plus 30 times of 3. 25 times of 1 plus 30 times of 3 divided by a sum of the quantities by number of quantities. 1 plus 3 is how much? It is 4. When I simplify this, I will definitely get the answer as 28.75 percentage. I believe the idea is very, very clear for you people. Answer for this question is 28.75 percentage but not 29 percentage. Option 6 also will be ruled out. Now, there is another way of solving this calculation at the last step. Can I think little more logically instead of calculating all these things? Little more logically. Think logically, sir. This is 25 percentage. I know that if it is equal ratio, average will be the middle value of two, two values. So, it is 25 percentage. This is 30 percentage. It is in the ratio 1 is to 3. Why am I not taking greater than 3? Because question is asking for minimum percentage, right? So I am taking the minimum value as 3 itself. Now, further simplifying, can I say that here there are 3. I will push 1 to this person. So it becomes 2 here. Here also it becomes 2, right? Here also it becomes 2. That means, can I say that if I rewrite the diagram, out of 3 30s, 130 I pushed it to this person, 25 is already there and 30 I pushed it. What is the average of 25 and 30? Average of 25 and 30 is nothing but 27.5 percentage, right? 27.5 percentage for this person now there are two parameters. Similarly, this second person out of 330s which were there, one is pushed, another 230s are present, right? Another 230s are present. Can I say that 2 is to 2 is nothing but in the equal ratio. Whenever they are in equal ratio, I told you a key point before the start of this problem itself. Whenever they are in equal ratio, average is nothing but, so middle value of 27.5 and 30, it is nothing but 28.75. That is what you got it there also. Any way you implement, any logic you implement, please kindly do not use formula based technique to solve this kind of problems, which will kill your time to the greatest extent. And also please avoid using variable methodology. Boy is to girl is 3 is to 7. It is 3x and 7x or whatever it is. Kindly avoid using formula, kindly avoid using variable. This is how you need to solve this kind of problems and that is the reason Anil Nair classes keep this kind of problems in one of the best beautiful shortcuts way possible. I hope it is very very clear for you people sir. Thank you everyone for watching this video.